And we're back with, uh, yeah, so that demo, uh, hipped me to this game, which I've heard of, but I never looked into. Um, so, it's kind of Power stony, like, for characters and whatnot, meaning I had to organize this, uh, quite differently. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Paul and Law are both in it, but, uh, Law actually got eliminated in the preliminaries, so... We won't be seeing him, but Paul made it. Paul and Law are in it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Law just uses his sounds from Tekken 3. <laughs> it's really oh, strange. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Um, and if you see the stats there, uh, I was noticing that it was kind of becoming a little wonky. But mm -hmm. if you look at L1 Max, you could just make everybody full stats. So I just did <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> Felt like it made it more even. <laughs> yeah. Why is this so much louder? God. <laughs> so we have GD05. <laughs> That's another thing, like, some characters, if you see, like, the circle button, it's like they're an archetype, but they have, like, slight variants. And some of those variants, uh, made it into the preliminaries, including, like, basically two versions of the same character here. Wow. <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta save. I was not, uh... I was not, uh, grinding through this game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sad that, like, Goth Horong didn't make it, though. <laughs> <laughs> this is interesting. Yeah. Now, we didn't get to the characters who literally just have Tekken stances. Uh, <laughs> but I'm sure uh, Chris there is just doing Eddie uh, moves. And Jake the Wrestler, who's the guy in, like, the cool shirt and jeans. Uh, I'm sure he has some king moves. <laughs> so this is just, like, a Namco thing, or...? Yep. <laughs> I played a little bit of it. It's pretty fun. I hear the single player gets pretty bullshit at times, though. <laughs> it looks alright. Yeah. D yep. <laughs> 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 I like how we woke up by spinning around. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like, Sound design is, um... <laughs> mm. There's a lot of crunches. Yeah. Uh, GD05 is out. Yeah, yeah, Jake just did the Miguel stomp there. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> He's dead! <laughs> and yeah, it works with a round system, so... Yeah, that was just uh, the King uh, Paul driver. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, hey, Serena! <laughs> I always wake up by spinning around. first to two, holy shit. Yeah. I... I... At first worried that was going to be too long, but honestly, I can watch this game in action for ages. <laughs> it's so fun. <laughs> and then there's that, um... Suplex that we saw uh, Michelle do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I gotta ask if uh, Flynn if this would count for a The Quest video. Because, uh, I'm totally down with parsecing this game with somebody. <laughs> it should. Yeah. Uh, what, what console is this? PS2. Yeah. <laughs> this looks like a game that should uh, be on the GameCube. Yeah, it's... Like, it's... It has, uh... It also reminds me quite a bit of Def Jam Fight for New York, <laughs> in a way. Yeah, I could see that. <laughs> it's definitely the first thing I was thinking of. Yeah, it's just like the general, just kind of like... Everybody kind of looks normal, but they have like, you know, really nutty, like, martial arts styles and shit. <laughs> and also this the is crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And also the knockouts are very like Def Jam. Holy shit! Just <laughs> keep sending the dude flying and then pick him up out of the air. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of awesome. Oh, Jake's out now. Now the number men. Have to <laughs> Why are there, like, a 
abbreviations. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I forgot about GDO5 when it closes in on him. Speaking of Def Jam, GDO5 looks exactly like Exhibit does in Fight for New York if he just shaved his head. <laughs> <laughs> this is like if Def Jam and WWE All-Stars had a baby. <laughs> I just gotta say that, yeah. Also, those are prison tags. I see. Yeah, this is no, um... This is no stranger to, like, you know, early 2000s, like, Japanese developers trying to figure out what the most, like, urban names were, for lack of a better term. Right. Like, sadly, we do not get to see the other characters in the tournament that were named, like, Nasty, Real Deal, MC, Bone Crusher, <laughs> like, shit like that. <laughs> Fucking, uh... I, I can't remember who's who now. GDO5 was just, uh... <laughs> emptying a life bar by spinning around. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what a Mardox moves, isn't it? Where you tack them to the ground? Yeah, I haven't played much of Mardox, but I would not be surprised to, uh... find out that, uh... <laughs> find out that some of these moves are Marduk's. Pretty sure that one guy was already dead for like 10 seconds, but he was getting juggled. Yeah, it's very Streets of Fury <laughs> that way. <laughs> Except in this game, they don't explode when you can't combat them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I also like how, uh... Walls are kind of a good offensive maneuver here. That you can just kind of throw them in them. Right. <laughs> oh, there's so much spinning. That was a lot of lariating. <laughs> yeah. DR88 is absolutely hell bent on making sure no one in this room has a spine anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a huge fan of how different the moves Lariat and Double Lariat are from each other. Yeah. Ah, uh, Jake's out. I think. Thinking of the dude running away with them. <laughs> you gotta go. <laughs> if Chris takes it, we have a. Uh, this match will continue, but. <laughs> Jeez. Whoa, he's got a spinning DDT! <laughs> Bonk. You see they got a meter there. Yeah, that's for their, uh... I don't know if they really have supers or what, but... They have, like, special attacks, I think. Yeah. Yeah, DR-88-1. <laughs> I'm really glad that, like, the nobody variants, uh... <laughs> <laughs> or climbing up here. Yeah, my favorite uh, dumb name from this is still Real Deal. <laughs> <laughs> because his biography is just like, he is not the real deal, he is a fraud and he sucks. <laughs> it doesn't say exactly that. But <laughs> I, I was hoping that he would be like a, uh, a, a dealer at like a casino or something. The Real Deal. That would actually fit pretty well, I'd say. <laughs> so it's notice... just like a street version of uh, Oswald. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the boxer dude just straight up has Steve Fox stance. <laughs> That's Paul. Yep. I <laughs> know uh, I'm playing now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, this game has no short of uh, boxers. Also, excuse the lens flare effect. I had no idea the stage even had it. <laughs> it goes away after hell? a while, but <laughs> that that must be an emulation error, I imagine. I hope so. This is there's a small sun in the center of this uh, <laughs> helipad. Where are we? I don't know. Whoa! <laughs> I've never seen a guy do that on two people before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so this is an emulation issue. I'm kind of relieved. <laughs> <laughs> I would hope so. That was that that would be a weird thing for that to them and intend. Yeah. 
So, Riki, the guy in the suit there, uh, usually has a samurai sword, but... It might just be, you know, the beatdown Fist of Vengeance experience uh, speaking to me, but I just decided to not give him that. Hmm. <laughs> I like how he knocked out Paul with the Three Stooges uh, routine. <laughs> God, the juggles. <laughs> My god. <laughs> so, Yan Jun, I'm um, seeing uh, a couple of Feng moves. <laughs> and yeah, like, Paul was actually one of the reasons, uh, one of the reasons I did the whole max stat thing. Because, uh, Paul versus other characters was just doing like 80% <laughs> with like one combo. It's like, okay. <laughs> like, I just realized when you said that someone was doing Miguel moves, Miguel didn't exist yet. Oh yeah, well, uh... Yeah, I guess not. So I guess Miguel just has moves from this game. <laughs> That's really fucking weird. <laughs> I mean, there is a character called Miguel in this game. <laughs> um, I don't think he really has, like, any of the same moves, though. If only. <laughs> uh, so shit is happening! <laughs> yeah? Oh, that's an electric fence, holy shit. Oh, that's what that is. I never noticed that. <laughs> I love it when characters are just juggling the same guy together. <laughs> He just did Steve's Unblockable. With, yeah. like, the long startup and everything. <laughs> was... The real deal spotted Tekken. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make real deal in Tekken 7 somehow. Ricky, uh, just taking it. <laughs> yeah, wow. We'll get it. <laughs> I was worried that his power level was going to be, uh... Reduce without his uh, starting weapon, but um, <laughs> Paul just tried his unblockable at eight shit. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> now Hero, who was basically Riki, but more uh, Yakuza looking, as in the game, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Also, the third dude's name is Napalm ninety nine. I'm down with it. Yeah. <laughs> Napalm's a cool sounding word. Whenever I think of napalm, I just think of napalm death. I just think of Tekken. Or Tekken. Uh, <laughs> just metal. Yeah. <laughs> Brad. It was the, the Tekken uh, spin off where they're driving cars. <laughs> well, napalm just uh, plowed a dude through a shelf. <laughs> <laughs> you summer boy! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Napalm Death actually showed up on a Japanese game show, uh, because of that <laughs> song. Because it was... Well, funnily, I say at the time it was the shortest song ever, but, uh, it's actually not. I... I'm a huge <laughs> fan of, um, the MK, like, nut punch animation. Yeah. Not like the, the, the use of a nut punch, but being hit by one. They're just <laughs> like, ooh. <laughs> The song's the only thing I know about Napalm Death. Well, they have so many good songs, like, uh, You Suffer, which is one second. Dead, which is two seconds. Uh... Your Achievement, which I think is three seconds. <laughs> I remember the, the Boys Don't Cry one. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Fucking Garo that's, Gary Gay Gay Gay. That's the one I remember for some reason, just... Boys Don't Cry, what do you think for? <laughs> <laughs> Different band, but similar concept. <laughs> just, the guy would just scream a song title, then go, What do you think for? And then they would just, like, hit their instruments for, like, four seconds. <laughs> they jam out for a split second and be like, Alright, got that out of my system. Napalm Death's dead is my cell phone text message sound. That's pretty on brand, I must say. <laughs> So Brad, I think, is actually the main character of this game. Arpa, I thought your text message sound was the, uh, announcer from Metal Slug 3D saying, Sniper Rifle! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they were still standing, it was like, uh... 
I can't get no satisfaction. What did they find? <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Jesus. His full name is Brad Hawk. Is he re uh, related to Stallone's character from Over the Top, who is either Hawk or Hawks, depending on who you're talking to? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Fucking name Paul 99 just threw Hero like a pizza. <laughs> god. I keep thinking, is he's related to Brad Burns. <laughs> Now, if he was, he'd be more Muay Thai, which, uh, I think this game is kind of lacking, actually. Hmm. <laughs> I like how we're so far away, the sound has just kind of stopped. <laughs> <laughs> I, I This is tangentially related, but I do love the, um, finding out after we did that, uh, Sonic Adventure 2 watch, that uh. the reason that all the sound effects in that game were fucked up is because in the, uh, Steam port of the game, they forgot to make sounds have a uh, uh, what's the int intention or what's the word I'm looking for? But um, they have no like distance. So, oh. Like any any time a sound is played, it is always at full volume no matter what. Oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Cooper's got a uh, round in. <laughs> Let's say isn't Brad Cooper the guy from Twin Peaks, but then I remember that's Dale Cooper. Brad <laughs> Cooper is a name I feel like I recognize. Yeah. Ooh. Napalm 99. <laughs> it's such a good name. <laughs> Napalm 99 sounds like uh, some sort of like extreme sports game. For the PS1. Oh, yeah, yeah. Napalm 99. <laughs> it's like some game that Taito developed once that nobody's ever heard of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Taito is kind of my go to for like games nobody's ever heard of because uh, they made a lot. I just know of Super Baseball 2020 and then, um. There was one that Yoshi showed me the other day, actually, where it was like a football game, but the ball is like some sort of energy core, and then it progressively gets hotter and hotter until it explodes. Jesus. <laughs> why isn't Napalm 99 in Graffiti Kingdom? Uh, I think the correction is, why isn't he in Graffiti Kingdom yet? Because <laughs> you know what we're doing that playthrough, we have to make him now. <laughs> what? <laughs> thought he was going to turn into Devil Jin. <laughs> Oh my god. Also, I, I, I forgot to note that uh, in round two, somebody got knocked out by a drop toe hold, which is like <laughs> the weakest <laughs> move to get KO'd by ever. I love whenever they do like a recovery roll in the air. It's like this wild spin out looking thing. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Na Napalm 99 took that for sure. <laughs> I am so scared of him. Dude, I love this guy. <laughs> <laughs> he I, needs to win now. Yeah. <laughs> Quick spa gog. <laughs> Laying out qu people quicker than the song you suffer, yeah. <laughs> so KG, uh, I looked at some of the voice casting. Uh, they credited some of them. Um, <laughs> Rod. <laughs> <laughs> This guy uh, now shares voice actors with uh, Cobra from MK now, because of the huh. uh, new animated movie, so. So I like how Zack has Kazuya's stance. Jeez. <laughs> they just look kind of unsure. They're just like, uh... <laughs> yeah. There's something about Zack I, I love, and I'm not sure why, because he's just, like... Out of he looks like a dude. Yeah, that's the thing, like, out of everybody in the cast, he doesn't look like, you know, a pastiche of, like, urban stereotypes. He just looks like a guy that's really into karate, because he just is. <laughs> I'm like, Very I, Lowenthal, that name that I keep seeing everywhere, I'm just like, yep, that, that sure is the name of a person who voices in everything now. Yeah, he's the voice of KG here. <laughs> he's the voice of, uh, Beck, I think? From my number nine? <laughs> oh, I think... <laughs> 
I was like, what, wired vec? Wait. <laughs> like, no, 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 the band vec. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what? <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. So, KG climbed up Zack to do something, and then Zack countered him by doing a neck breaker? <laughs> that was a lot to process. I just saw yeah, someone jump over another guy's shoulders, and then the third party kicked both of them. <laughs> Zack just did uh, a Kazuya unblockable, I imagine. <laughs> That's a Jeet's back throw, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like it to where, like, you know, I guess to the extent we're starting recognizing moves from other games entirely. <laughs> I think that was a thing move. It was like a, a sweeping kick into a jumping kick. <laughs> I wish Carlito did the thing Zach was doing in this game. <laughs> like, Holy shit. <laughs> but it's like Zach just goes like, I spit in the face of people who don't want to be cool, and he just roundhouse kicks somebody across the fucking stage. Oh, I thought you meant Carlito from Dead Rising. Instead <laughs> of having a sniper rifle, he's just gonna fucking drop kick people across the room. <laughs> I'd also like to point out Zack won that round by powering up. Because <laughs> I guess it works like power instinct. Yeah, he's just like... They were just like, I, I don't want anything to do with that. <laughs> Like, he's doing just a very simple gut punch with a lot of build-up, but it looks like the most terrifying thing to get hit by, somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Zack is a Dragon Ball Z character, clearly. <laughs> I, you know, I truly don't know how I didn't look into this game sooner. <laughs> Don't think I, I, the name sounds familiar, but I don't think I've ever really heard of this. Like the only thing I ever heard is that Paul Law were in it. Paul Law is my favorite. <laughs> Ultra Instinct Zack. I would kill her Instinct Zack. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this guy's pretty much doing Killer Instinct combos already. So. Wow, everyone else is like half HP and Rod's dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Rod eliminated one of the coolest lady characters in this game in the preliminary, so he deserves it. It's 50 bucks at my LGS. If I found this game, I would fucking snatch it up. Like, I am sold. <laughs> oh, because the arrows are actually who you're facing. Yeah. Oh, so it's that, like, free movement that's actually movement towards a target. Wait. That's really weird. Hold on, did they... I think that was a double team attack in a... <laughs> <laughs> It was a double team attack I've never seen before. It's like Zack did a drop toe hold and then KG did an elbow drop on his head on the way down. Jeez. <laughs> look at, like, look at Zach, Zach, calm down, man. <laughs> Why does this guy rule so much? <laughs> I thought you were cool, man. You're just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that 10 hit string is literally just like. A, a special. KG looks like one of the dudes I'd see on a big fat quiz or something. <laughs> KG is British now. I don't make the rules. <laughs> he just looks like some Irish guy who's just like, I know how to be funny, and that's about it. <laughs> I said something really racist on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, since he's British, he'll probably be transphobic. But anyway. <laughs> But I did love that that random. I forget the dude's name, and I feel bad. But there was that one guy I recognized from uh, another British. Uh, uh, what do you call them? Just the all the comedians on uh, some goofy show. Yeah. And uh, he was actually doing like a real like pro trans thing, and is one of his skits on like on stage. And I was just like, that's cool. Yeah. You don't like, see enough of that. Yeah. Whenever they do that, it, it's like actually really good. <laughs> Because they, you know, add jokes in it. Yeah. That a lot of stand-up doesn't do. <laughs> God, I forget what even happens in this, in this match. It's just fucking nuts. Zach is an ally. Yeah, no, Zach, Zach seems chill as shit. <laughs> yeah. Like, his bio is literally just like he saw a couple of karate videos and is now really into it. That sounds like a character I made. Yeah. 
I think he's part of like a karate school that kind of trained up. They gotta fight off like bad guys or something. Yeah, that definitely sounds like a character I made. <laughs> 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 Zack knew his destiny when he saw Death Province. <laughs> I had to see Zack's tying a bag of rats to some dude's head before I could just give him the credit there. <laughs> what about Napalm Death Promise? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that has to be the name of something now. I don't know why, but we're, we're gonna figure out something. <laughs> god, what was Death... Which one was Death Promise? What was, like, the big thing in that one? Uh, that was the, uh... Screaming Knife Guy? Was yeah, yeah. It? Screaming yeah, Knife yeah. Guy. That's, that's the, like, MVP of that movie. Alright, just that movie, but every time he starts screaming, he, he <laughs> says the name of a song beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> name Palm Death Promise does sound like a Tekken movie, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does. <laughs> He just runs at you and goes, Left, I got a box, what do they for? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a love one to do. I'm confusing it with the other guy again, my bad. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> Oops. <laughs> the Japanese band which uh the meaning of the name is uh very classy. <laughs> it's just like puke puke vomit or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> It's very earthboundy that way. <laughs> I'm glad that uh, oh, Janet. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> KG is another variant character, but like in his group, he's actually a pretty major character. Their plot. It's like basically he's an orphan and the gang kind of is built around keeping him safe, more or less. Oh, one of these guys is taking it. Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> I mean, at least he has a suplex. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> well, at least it wasn't Rod. <laughs> <laughs> no one likes that guy. <laughs> Again, he eliminated, like, the wrestler lady. <laughs> that that sucks. Oh, yeah, we haven't seen, like, a lady character yet. Yeah, they all got eliminated. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, is this the finals? God, I don't, I don't want this one to end. <laughs> but basically the way I had to do it was uh, there were a bunch of uh, matches of four, and then... Uh, It's one of those things where it's like, I can't explain it very well, but... <laughs> no, I get it, yeah, like, there's... Everything's match of four, including the finals, so... Yeah. And, uh, once again, this is, uh, best of three rounds now, so... If, if Napalm 99 doesn't win this... <laughs> well, there's also DR88, who is almost the same character. <laughs> <laughs> what I like too is that for how many like kind of no name like you know nobody characters that are hidden in this game, it's like there's a section that has bios for every single one of them. Which I really like. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think everybody's head should explode when they get suplexed in general. Well, I'm gonna have to make that for fire for now. <laughs> this is the arena fighter of uh, time splitters. Yeah, pretty much. Oh yeah, the gangs have a leader and variants of the leader. Just, yeah, there's... There's, like, Nasty, whose friends are MC, Real Deal, and I forget the other guy's name. He just no-sold a fucking crotch punch. <laughs> he coach buzz cutted it. <laughs> Scrotal discomfort. <laughs> Kick me in the gym! <laughs> Hey, somebody has that double axe swing move in Tekken, I can't remember who it is. That uh, double axe swing would probably be, uh, Jack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Marduk? Yeah. 
These two guys are very Marduk. Yeah, that, that body tackle is, like, very Marduk. <laughs> he leg dropped his toes then, and he got, that guy died. Yeah, he just he stubbed his toe to death. <laughs> I'd believe it. Surprised Golem is in the final. Golem is just straight up banned. His stats were at max before I did anything. I was like, yeah, that sounds like bad news. <laughs> This game, I'm just genuinely kind of... This is one of those games I just feel so bad I never played when I was younger. Because I would have loved the hell out of this. Me too! I had the same exact feeling. But, you know, I guess I could always love it now, so... <laughs> yeah. Never too late. <laughs> this is the sort of thing that you wouldn't get if, uh... You know, like, Nintendo had their way with how emulation is handled. Oh god, yeah. I heard you say Golem and thought you made the Lord of the Rings character. <laughs> I was thinking like an actual Golem, then I was like, wait, that probably wouldn't be in this game. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's any death masks in this game. <laughs> I think my, my mind immediately went to that Sonic 3 boss, or Sonic and Knuckles boss, the Xandopolis. <laughs> it's like, I don't, I don't think there's going to be any rock Golems <laughs> hanging out here. <laughs> I like how DR88 KO'd both of them by one kick. Incredible. <laughs> Zack is secretly from the dark side. I like how Zack just kind of became the MVP of this one. <laughs> <laughs> Yakuza getting power bombed by two dudes. <laughs> I mean, no, Sha Ying, I don't think, is part of the, uh, from the Yakuza. He looks like a character from that, though. Yeah. I don't know if there is specifically a triad or anything in this game, but there probably is. Yeah, like, I think the thing with Zack is that he reminds me of so many people I actually know that I kind of just have, like, a, a soft spot for him. You know, he looks, he looks like a dude. Yeah. Like, everyone else is, like, a caricature. Yeah. Of, like, a... Not like a stereotype, but, you know, a stereotype. Yeah. It's part of a triad gang. Yeah, I, I, I figured as such. Oh my god! <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> DR88 is out, <laughs> to say the least. Yeah, that was... that. Were, all three of them were looking pretty low, and then Napalm99 is just like, No, I've got this. <laughs> I've got them all in a corner, too. Let's go. <laughs> like, fucking DR just got, like, wall comboed against the bulldozer. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it played the Streets of Rage 3 track the entire time it was happening. Oh, God, that... This, this game doesn't need to be more intense. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, I one day found out, like, I think I was just out doing something, and I was just like, oh, what the hell, I'll put on the Streets of Rage 3 soundtrack for the hell of it. And it's like, it makes everything sound so fucking urgent. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I love how Streets of Rage 1 and 2 were like, you know, these like, house disco tunes and stuff like that, and 3 is like, no, you are fighting for your fucking life in this one. 3's soundtrack is an anomaly. I, I love the shit out of it, honestly, but... I Whoa. don't know how it was made, but it is it is experimental as hell. I think, like, the bass was, like, an automated uh, composer thing, and they kind of, like, worked off of that. That sounds amazing. That sounds like a lot of fun, actually. Yeah. Also, I like how two characters here have the, uh... <laughs> the lead, the other two were just kind of like, uh... <laughs> yeah, dudes in suits aren't doing too good in the finals here. Fucking... Why in God's name is Napalm 99 not in Tekken 7? Really? Like, any of these characters, like you'd think, <laughs> you know? Like. Oh, yeah, I noticed that 88 and 99 are both in this. <laughs> look, look at that. <laughs> Sadly, you can't really make that in Fire Pro. 
It's like, there are double team moves, there's not doing a character on two characters at the same time. We're doing a move on two characters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Tekken should have some more deep cuts. Yeah, I think that's the problem. It's like... I wouldn't be surprised to find out that it's like, oh, we wanted to add, like, Napalm 99 from Urban Rain, and then they had to be like, but nobody would know who that is. I mean, to be fair, they also did, like, Negan, which is, like... <laughs> I know Walking Dead's fairly popular, but that's just, that's still kind of out there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know how Sha Ying died. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. So, game set for these two. Yeah, wow. <laughs> oh my god, no, Napalm. <laughs> He'll be in one of the Rumbles. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, the winner of this Melf Stomp is DR88. <laughs> <laughs> With Napalm 99 uh, gaining another chance to get to the top, but... <laughs> yeah, it was two guys in suits versus two guys in uh, tank tops. <laughs> yeah. God, we, we gotta do something with this game eventually. I don't know what, yeah, but... absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> we have to parsec it. Yeah. So I, I don't know if there was a co-op mode or not, but... Oh, even, man. Even just versus mode would be pretty good. Yeah. Uh, so that was... God, these two just flew the fuck by. Uh, <laughs> that was a non-stop thrill ride. Yeah. It was, uh, as Wesley Willis would put it, a joy ride. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I... Uh, will probably have to go eat actual food instead of just drinking ginger ale. Oh. Uh, that picture. I suppose all the fake food you're eating, or <laughs> yeah, it's uh, you know that Lemon Demon song about like toy food that you're not supposed <laughs> to eat, but he just eats it anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh. But yeah, uh, tomorrow we'll be knocking off uh, possibly the rest of the Melv stops before the final games. But uh, Ooh. uh. The host will get back to me on that, <laughs> but, or the co-host. Um, yeah, that's the thing about this game, I'm like, oh, I gotta make more characters in Fire Pro, but these two would be, like, the easiest characters to make, so that's not really a problem. Yeah. And they're essentially clones of each other, so... <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, with that, I have to take a break, because, man, I, uh, what's left, all Japan... Yeah, it was All Japan Women Wrestling, Day of Reckoning, and Ultimate Mortal Kombat Trilogy, which I just recently managed to finagle a watch mode for. Uh, <laughs> it's something. I'll just say that. Um, Looking yeah. forward to it. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for uh, jumping in it uh, again. Oh, sure. With me. And, uh, thanks, thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks everybody for stopping by, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.